Hey everyone, Kevin here, back with another video. In this one, we will do a comparison of two entry-level cybersecurity certifications, CompTIA Security Plus and the ISC Square System Security Certified Practitioner. We will look at various aspects of the exam, including domains, exam requirements, intended audience, and industry acceptance. Lastly, I will give my recommendation on which certification you should pursue to begin your cybersecurity career. So what are we waiting for? Let's get after it. So when it comes to entry-level certifications, the two that are mentioned more often than others are the CompTIA Security Plus and ISC Square's SSCP. They are similar in terms of subject matter, cost, and exam requirements. The main question is, which certification will allow you to get into the field sooner rather than later? Truth is, opinions vary on the topic, and the fact that you are watching this video means that you are performing some serious research and you are considering my opinion as one that's valued amongst others. And for that, I thank you and I am honored to assist. So let's do this. Let's take a bit of a deep dive into each certification. Learn a bit more about each and then I will give my opinion on which one you should start with. So we will begin with ISC Square's SSCP exam. The System Security Certified Practitioner exam requires candidates to take a 125 question exam within three hours. A minimum of 700 out of 1,000 points is required to pass the exam. In addition, there is an experience requirement. Verbatim, ISC Square requires that candidates must have at least one year of cumulative paid work experience in one or more of seven domains of the ISC Square SSCP CBK where CBK means Common Book of Knowledge. They go on to say that a candidate who doesn't yet have the required experience may become an associate of ISC Square after passing the exam. After obtaining that designation, the associate will have two years to earn the experience needed for the actual SSCP certification. The topic domains of the SSCP are as follows. Access controls, security operations and administration, risk identification, monitoring and analysis, incident response and recovery, cryptography, network and communication security, systems and application security. So why consider taking the SSCP? Well, for starters, the certification has credibility. I mean, it's been around for over 20 years. It is DOD approved and is part of the 8570 requirements. Over 150,000 cybersecurity professionals possess this certification and, according to ISC Squared, the average salary of an SSCP is over $93,000. Professionals who possess this certification have the potential to hold positions such as a database engineer, a network security engineer, security administrator, a security analyst, a security consultant or specialist, a system administrator, systems engineer, or a systems and network analyst. So let's take a look at the flip side of the, group, the CompTIA Security Plus. It requires candidates to take a 90 question exam, and these questions are performance based. I have to stress again because CompTIA stresses they are performance based exams. The 90 question exam must be taken within an hour and a half, and successful exam takers will pass with a score of at least 750 out of a total of 900. Now, unlike the SSCP, the Security Plus does not require candidates to have any IT experience. So literally, all the candidate has to do is study up, pay their fee, and pass the exam. Now, CompTIA recommends candidates have taken and passed the Network Plus and have two years of experience in security IT administration. The topic domains covered on this exam are attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities, architecture and design, implementation, operations and incident response, governments, risk, and compliance. So why take this exam? Well, like the SSCP, the Security Plus has been around again for over 20 years and is widely accepted by industry. It also holds the DOD 8570 accreditation. According to cyberseek.org, over 177,000 cybersecurity professionals possess this certification. And according to various websites, the average salary for the Security Plus certification is around $84,000. Typical positions acquired by Security Plus holders are security administrators, system administrators, help desk managers and analysts, 
network and cloud engineers, security engineer and analysts, DevOps or software developers, IT auditors, and IT project managers. So now that we have some background information on e-certification, let's decide on which one to choose. First, let's look at the facts. Both certifications are very similar. Both have been around for roughly the same amount of time, similar number of questions, similar domains, similar job positions, holders of both certifications can obtain. There is a lot of lead over. From a salary standpoint, I know what ISC Square says about holders of the SSCP, but if I really had to guess, I would say that the actual salaries would be similar as well. So with both certifications being so similar, what is the difference maker? Why should you choose one over the other? To me, the answer is acceptability in industry. Let's face facts. CompTIA is primarily known for their entry-level certifications, with their Security Plus being one-third of the entry-level Holy Trinity. You can ask any HR representative who writes job postings for a living, and they will know about the Security Plus. Now, SSCP? Not so much. ISC Squared is known for the Holy Grail of Cybersecurity Certifications, which is the CISSP. All others, while valuable, don't have the reputation that the Security Plus has. And when it comes to getting the job, hiring managers will look for certifications they recognize and what is most accepted by industry. So when it comes to which certification you should get, I would definitely recommend the Security Plus. My approach to certifications is to get the one that businesses are familiar with to get your foot in the door. After you're in, then you can do your research and obtain the certifications that will get you to the level you wish to obtain in industry. Develop a certification plan consisting of established industry recognized certifications to get yourself in the door quickly. Let's face it, certifications are expensive. And don't get me started on certification maintenance. Imagine getting a few certifications from different vendors. Then three years later, having to get the continuing education units and paying different renewal fees for each. The price tag adds up, so you need to be judicious about which certifications you should obtain because frankly, they ain't cheap. So that's my comparison to SSCP and Security Plus certifications. If you feel this video has been helpful, please consider liking and sharing this video and subscribing to my channel. Your support will help me to produce even better content to help you and others like you get into the field. I want to build a community of successful cyber professionals and to basically pay it forward. Professionals stood in the gap for me, and I want to do the same for you. Until next time, this is Kevin. Take care.